Good afternoon. This is Mike Scanlon, City Manager, City of Osawatomie, Kansas, and welcome to the weekend update for April 2nd, 2021. There are four things I'm going to cover today. The first is the electric bill. Uh, next Thursday, we will be back before the council with the two choices that we discussed at the last meeting. The most important thing to remember is we are going to take the spike bill that we received and instead of the resident or customer receiving it all in one bill, we are going to spread it across 36 months. And given that the interest rate we're receiving from the state of Kansas is so low, there's not a lot of interest expense when you get out into those out years. The second thing is in April, we'll start working with Architect One on our Planning Sustainable Places grant. That grant is going to allow us to rethink our downtown corridor. Citizens are gonna be involved. This has got a really active citizen component. We wanna make sure that we get your voice and your opinions into that plan for our downtown. Third, today's, today a city staff met with Chris Cardwell with Miami County Conservation District. And we looked at a number of stormwater projects. We walked one off of Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln Avenue. We also looked at future tree plantings. Uh, a date I want you to put on your calendar is May 1st. That's Saturday, May 1st. We'll be doing tree plantings throughout the city of Osawatomie. And if you want to participate, just give us a call here at City Hall and we'll get your name on a list. Uh, last but not least, and certainly probably the most important thing that happened this week is the Creamery Bridge. If you're familiar with that bridge and Plum Creek Road, you know that it has been closed since Wednesday. Unfortunately, a Miami County employee hit parts of the Creamery Bridge and that's required the county to close it. The county is awaiting an, an inspection to gauge the, the level of damage and then come up with a repair plan for that bridge. Once there's a plan to repair the bridge and once we have a calendar that tells us how long it's going to take, we'll make sure that we get that communicated out to you in our community. And I'm sure Miami County will communicate to the rest of the unincorporated areas that use that bridge to both come and go into Osawatomie. If you have questions related to the bridge or anything that I cover in this weekend update, don't hesitate to email me at mscanlon at osawatomieks.org and I'll try to get a reply back to you. And if it's not me, it'll be Sam Moon. I hope you have a great Easter weekend. Look forward to talking to you next week.